Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So I just came off vacation, had zero notification about the live stream, but we're gonna run through, we're gonna do a couple summons on here. Um, actually, I haven't played the game for a couple days, so if you noticed, I've actually been offline for a little bit. So we'll collect up our rewards, we'll uh, manage some of our heroes here. Again, if you guys wanted to borrow a hero, haven't been on there, so I'm not even sure a lot of people are gonna hop on this stream um, just because it is such short notice. We have a lot of rewards to pick up here. And since the hashtag engraving is over, um, we put a little bit in. What's going on, Javid? Again, I didn't know if anyone was going to join us for this stream because it is super last minute. We just rolled in probably about 10 minutes ago from vacation. Uh, we were out on the boat all day yesterday. So it was very, very cool to see. Um, haven't even checked out the Abyssal Expedition, so I did have to let everyone know that we were going to be gone for the Abyssal Expedition. So I'm gonna have to hop in here and see exactly where we're at. I left, we were just at Marquis, and I think the boss was already killed at that time, but we can collect up, look at our 73 hours we have not been on guys, which is absolutely crazy. But again, I wanna see, I think the boss, we still have to do our hit. What's going on, Mr. Boy Scout? Um, so we actually do have to do a hit right here to attack him. Um, I'm gonna go with, I'm thinking with Lucy and Mortis is gonna be a good combination. We could build up probably a ton of our levels. We, we could probably build up a ton of our levels on here, but I wanna make sure I get this hit before, at least one hit uh, before we're in. Let's see who else we got. We got Theowin in there, we got Silas in here as well. We're gonna try to buff up these two, and I think I'm gonna put this on Grez. And this hit should take us out of Marquise. It should take us into the next level. As long as I can do the damage, we're gonna have to see exactly what the damage in here looks like. I haven't attacked this boss yet. When I got here the first time, the boss was already dead. Um, so we haven't had a chance to go ahead and do an attack here. But I'm hoping Silas and Mortis combination is gonna help. I'm sure I need to get my relics a little bit higher if we don't do enough damage here. But I'm really hoping we do. So what do you guys got going on? I, I know, again, it's a super late, last-minute stream. Um, I didn't even know if I was going to be home in time to do the stream. There we go. We got the buff up on the twins. Mortis has got everyone buffed now. So I'm thinking this combination is going to be pretty solid. I like the bonus that Silas gives out of here. And, of course, the ability of Lucy and Grez just to absolutely dominate, guys. So let's see what we... 798, so not too bad. We will stop attacking. There is our title, guys. Boom. Final boss. Now we, we are promoted there. This is what we were waiting for. Should I finish Kazard or start going for the new Mauler? Um, honestly, right now, um, the, the new Mauler, since you can get out of desired summons, um, since you can get out of a couple different areas, I would just go ahead and finish Kazard. And when the new Mauler drops, it, it seems like he's pretty good. Um, I haven't had a chance to test him, so we actually dropped them live servers on Tuesday or the the um, test servers on Tuesday, and I went on vacation. I have not even tested the new Mauler short of the moment that he came up. So let's see what we need here. Core relics, we need um, tier eight, five mythic relics, which I think we had one already. I think in here we can build out a couple of these just because we have a ton of... And again, I, I haven't done this in three days, guys. It, it has been three days um, since we have built this out. So there's our four relics for there. But I think I need five, so we need one more. Which this one is really good because it's got 38% attack. There we go, guys. So there's the five. Now I just need to level up level four with all the other core relics. What's going on, Levi? New Mauler to Mythic is very good, SI30. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna check him out, Javid. Like I said, I just got um, I just got in literally moments ago. We're gonna go ahead and try out a couple things here. I definitely want to try out the new Mauler. Um, hop over on the test server, see what's going on over there. I'm glad to be back, guys. Glad to be able to um, sit down and stream with you guys. Let's go ahead and put we'll put Damon in here. Um, maybe Eisold in here, and I'm thinking possibly Alna. We got a big boost in there with the Strilda, but we'll put Alna in here. 
So finally made it to Duke, just have a little bit more to print, so very cool. Uh, put heroes on the stamina list. Uh, I haven't even looked at it, Javid. I, I know there's probably quite a few. As you can see, my all my heroes have massive amounts of stamina. So I'm gonna get them set. I'm gonna get all of my relics um, built up out of here so we can go ahead and just kill some of these bosses out. Test a couple team comps now that we have a ton of our celerity heroes in there. That'll work. I think most of these I can probably get to uh, get to level four as well because I'm sure I have a ton of these relics. So I don't think there's gonna be any problem getting these to level four. And that'll allow us to do much stronger hits on there. What's going on, MD? Welcome back. I'm almost at Duke, but I haven't made it to the section with the final boss. What are the rewards for getting prints? And how do you get the mainframe? So, so the frame, this one, Levi, is not available. Um, this is the beta version. They don't, uh, they don't do the leaderboards on the beta version, but I believe it is the top 100. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I, I think it is the top 100 guilds. Um, to do the most damage within the Abyssal Expedition will get the frame. That they do get a version of the frame. I believe it was the top 10 get a one version, and then 11 through 50 get a second version, then maybe 50 through 100 um, get another version. What's going on? Great day. And Sheen Evil as well. Again, thank you guys for joining me for the super late last minute live stream. So we'll go ahead. We'll equip all of these relics up. And I can probably sell a couple of these to make sure that we get the rest of them. So level four, level four, we got our five relics there. Level three, so we'll take this to four. Yep, that's what I thought, Javid. I thought it was the top 100. Um, if I recall, five, four, celerity, then 4.0, the rest, right? Yeah, so, so the big thing, MD, is you can stack a couple, um, a couple of heroes in here and utilizing the relic soul. For instance, in this comp, using Grez um, with the Relic Soul, so using Celerity and then some of your support heroes in there with Grez equipping the Relic Soul. Support heroes do very well with their abilities being leveled up to level four, um, but they're not a necessity. They're not the damage dealers, so putting the support item or the Relic Soul on them doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, I would put it on a Grez or put it on one of your boss killers versus equipping it on one of the heroes that are not going to do that much of a damage. Um, any word? So the Viper Industry, I haven't had a chance to test him out. Now, a lot of people are saying that the new Mauler is doing very well. That, that's surprising enough that Granite is doing very well um, on test, which is good because we honestly need a Mauler and we need another solid tank in there. So it'll be very cool to see. I wanna, I'm want i gonna do some testing on it tonight. I, I have quite a few things planned. I've um, been on vacation the entire week, just got back literally right now. I still haven't even unpacked the car, but a majority of it is done. So exterminate the final boss, which we already attacked, so we'll be good there. Then occupy tier eight, and then the core relic. So not too bad. I'm sure a lot of these we could even sell out um, because we're not gonna utilize them to, to build, I'm gonna have to check out the build. So we'll see what we can sell out of there and just continue to gain our relics in here, our essence in here. Um, haven't done, again, anything with any of this. I know this is all capped at 10,000. Um, haven't done my dailies in a couple days. I don't have access to this account short of the PC. So we even have to do everything there. Um, rewards are 20 Stargazer cards, honorable with 3,000 diamonds. If you aren't in casuals, uh, the top three get gold, top 10 get silver, top 100 get a free. Yeah, I, I think they changed that. Um, Gaming with Chris, I think it's the top 10 get the gold. I, I know it used to be three, but I think um, I, I think they changed it. The top 10 get gold, the next 50 get silver, and the 100 get the frame. M might not be 100% on that, Gaming with Chris, um, but that's what I heard is that they adjusted the words. I believe it was last Abyssal Expedition, they did some of the adjustments in there um, to the to the reward system itself. All right. <coughs> so we're going to go through here. We're going to do um, the Misty Valley. I have to finish that before it is gone, um, which I think we're pretty close to having this done. I, I want to catch this up before we do the summon. So we were at 1 through 10 already. 
So we need 11 through 20. And the main thing we're looking at right now is getting Morrow, guys. So we've already built out um, Hodgkin as much as we can. So now we can focus on Morrow. I want the red chest. I want, look at that, 50 red chests out of here, guys. And then the 200 of the engraving mats. Definitely want to pick those up as well. What's going on, Dark Blaine? Doing great. Just got in. Uh, nice and relaxed. We spent like seven hours on the boat yesterday. So it was kind of crazy uh, to spend that much time on the boat. But it was a ton of fun. We actually went out and rented a boat. It was cool to see. So we'll go ahead and stack up this team. And this one's pretty easy with Eins. I, I mean, going through most of the combinations, once we get the alt with Eins, um, a lot of times that's pretty much game over. Uh, top, yeah, that, oh, it's 25, so top 25. Thank you, Sheen Evil. I didn't know if it was top 25 or top 50. Um, I've heard that there, there were a couple variations, but if it's, yep, top 10 is gold. Um, uh, what do you think of putting granite with Maro and long CC ability? Yeah, that could definitely help Levi. Again, I want to, I want to use granite. I'm going to, I'm going to test him out a little bit tonight. I'm going to do a video either a little tonight or tomorrow. I want to see how good he is. A lot of players have said he is phenomenal. Um, again, I have not tested him yet to see exactly how strong he is, but if a lot of people are very impressed with him on the test server, I can see him coming to the global and people just maxing him out the first day. What's going on, Pico? Uh, got Pippa to Ascended, got a star in Rose, and Sophia to L+. Plus. Yeah, very nice. That, that's some good progression. Pippa, I think, is a hero that a lot of people don't utilize that much. I, I feel like she could be utilized a lot more than she is. I think this one, we need Shamira and Lucretia. So we can drop out, there's Lucretia, and then we need Shamira. Oh, fused with ions. All right, this one might might be a little bit a uh, little bit tougher, guys. That's okay. We'll get we'll give it a try. Yeah, Pippa, like I was saying, I feel like is is a hero a lot of people um just underutilize. <clears throat> Same with a lot of players that don't build out um, Raku. Raku, we see absolute ma amazing performance out of Raku especially when you combine him with the engraving that we have for the Graveborn. Um, super strong, guys. Super strong hero. Definitely worth building. Uh, was the last... Yeah, I think it is Sheen Evil. I think it was. I know, I thought it was the last Abyssal Expedition. They did change that. And it, it's a good change because the top three were really hard. Even within our guilds themselves, we had a lot of players that didn't get the best frame, even though they were in the top five or the top 10. Um, and I think the last one, they, they changed. Granite, Prince of Persia, and Maro. Yeah, that's heavy, heavy crowd control. Guys, and probably one, one of the biggest heroes that I have been, that I have been impressed with is the Prince of Persia, guys. Ever since I have started using the Prince of Persia um, and having him built out, he does absolutely phenomenal. I've been very impressed with his performance. I, I didn't think I'd be I'd be as impressed as I am, but especially in the Bizzle Expedition, you put relics behind him. He is an absolute monster, guys. Prince of Persia is so hard to kill with the amount of crowd control that he has. Um, should I get Kazard or Mahira to Ascended? Um, I would go with Mahira in that choice if you're looking at both of them. Um, Kazard, you need the plus 30 signature item. Mahira, you, you need her build. Both you need you need built, um, but Mahira will work even lower. But essentially the tier list goes with getting Mahira up to Mythic, um, getting Kazard up to Mythic, then I believe getting Mahira up to Ascended, and then getting Kazard up to, um, up to Ascended. All heroes placed on the front line must be warriors. All right, so we can do double warrior here. We'll go with Ulna, which is good. We'll go with Izold, which would be a good combination there. Uh, is Maro a good choice? Yes, Maro is a good choice, guys. The way that he works um, with his crowd control abilities, a lot of players that have built Maro, it's very good. Ma Maro has worked very well. A lot of players are utilizing, utilizing him. Um, 
I, I like how Morrow works, especially when you look at the light bearer engraving that's coming. It seems like Morrow's going to be really good as well. I'm building Raku. Is his 909 important because you don't always want him to alt? Yeah, um, just like what Javid said, the 9 of 9 for Raku is not a requirement. Um, it does help in the campaign somewhat. It, it's kind of situational, Levi, with, with Raku. If you have him built, the, the stats do help significantly, which is why a lot of players do build him out, is because of the stats. It, it just comes down to the raw stats that he gets. Um, that can definitely make a difference. What's going on, Balan? Or Belial, who should I get? A Grez to ascend it or Pharrell to Mythic? Grez. Um, Ho, I would absolutely do Grez. Big thing with Grez is you will utilize him with a in a ton of different places. That that's really the big thing is Grez will be utilized in a a lot of different places. You will utilize him. So we got to kill all the enemies in ten seconds. I'm thinking some burst. That's pretty much some burst. And we got some haste in there. Let's hope in the alt. Ah, uh, it's not gonna. Might just have to try this a couple times. Can't wait to see the new update PvE formation guide like Artie's, including all the new heroes. Yeah, we're working on something right now, guys, for um Lilith in the 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 content creators. Um, we're gonna have some stuff coming out about some different classes, some different heroes. Um, which would be really cool to see. What's going on, Swish? Doing great today. A min as well. No hipster. Just woke. What's going on, Ben? Just woke up and was confused. And what's going on, Mahad from Malaysia? What did people use to complete this in gold? Let's see what we got. Oh, the, the pull together formation. So they're just using five man. And it's so cool. You can just copy the formation. The five pole Lucretia. Look at the potions just get eight out of there, which is crazy. For my granite is a very bad choice. Why, Pierre? I, I don't know why a lot of players are saying that granite is doing very well. But you do have to have that plus 30 signature item with, with granite. Um, so you do have to build them out quite a bit. Um, I think to get to survivability. I'd like to see granite and Ulna. I'd like to see a, a couple different formations with him. Um, I had to borrow your Hobskins because I didn't have a copy of him for the... Oh, yeah. If you borrowed anything on here, guys, I just came back from vacation, so I haven't even been here. Um, just kind of really getting caught up on everything right now. At 18, but we got bronze frames. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it does the Trial of God level... Levels your enemies scale to your level. Yes, it does, Leo. Um, so the Trial of God does scale to your level when you start it. There's a lot of things that do. Um, I've had a lot of trouble getting through the Trial of God, specifically, Leo, with the faction accounts because I'm limited on heroes. Um, <clears throat> I've tried them a couple different times and they have gotten stronger. They, they have gotten stronger. So they do scale with your level. The enemies do scale. If you're 100 levels more, it is going to scale to you. It's not going to be super easy just to, to breeze right through it. Uh, how can I get the AE frames? Yeah, this is a beta frame, uh, meaning that we will not have. So Abdullah, usually with the beta version, they don't have the they don't have the leaderboards. So there's no frames. There's no um, nothing of that nature when it comes to this Abyssal Expedition. Um, the ones going forward, they will have the, the leaderboard and they will have the frames. I believe we run it twice, I, I think. Um, one beta version, then two real versions. If I remember, I, I've done the Abyssal Expedition um, so many times. I, I believe we do run the same version a couple times. And the, the other times are rated. Or maybe the, only, the other times rated, the, the main time. Um, how does barricade work when equipped with two heroes? Both heroes will take the damage. Is the damage divided? Um, Juan Tulo, so that's a good question. So the barricade effectively will only work on one hero. The big thing is with the barricade, um, if you have it on two heroes, so from my understanding, 
is one of the barricades will just be completely neglected. So you will have it on a hero for stats, um, but it, you will have no benefit for it. So there's not really a reason to put double barricades on there because you will not see the effect of it. it from what I hear, that, that's exactly how I've heard it, um, is that the one of the barricades essentially will have no effect. Um, Raku is very good, but you don't think it's overrated. I don't know about you, but I don't use in the campaign. Um, so the a couple places, Sheen Evil, that I've used Raku, um, of course the Twisted Round Boss, but I've used him on the five pole, um, but a lot of people are using him with Laika and Raku with some crowd control in there and dropping out um, Eron. So I, I've seen a couple Sheen Evil um, where it is a combination. I'll show you. So what I'm seeing in here, the combination is they're running Laika. So I've seen a lot of teams running Laika with Rowan and then running Raku in here for damage like this formation I, i've seen a couple times in um, lineups when i'm going through 37 looking at 38 i i've seen a couple different i've seen a couple in here with gorvo um and i've also seen them in here with namora for crowd control crowd control crowd control the damage reduction and then of course he has his own crowd control i've seen this combination several times that has worked really well and went through a couple different stages I have yet to try it. I've used Raku a couple times and he's worked pretty well. But ultimately, Raku does a lot of the crowd control in here. And you still have Laika to do a lot of the damage within um, within the formation. So it's it's been interesting to see. So we need Hotchkin and Gorvo in this one. So we'll go ahead and we'll swap our regular uh, team in here. And we'll swap in... Hodgkin, which we have down here, and we have Gorvo, which I love Gorvo. I, I think the, as a Vulcan would call him, the Ninja Turtle, provides a pretty pretty good amount of crowd control. Very good tank, not for yeah. Again, granite guys, it's still too early. I I really caution um really caution players on building the heroes too early, especially if you're putting money into it. Um, just because we don't know how well they work. We've seen a couple of heroes that a lot of players could have built. Um, the Celestials and Hypogen heroes that a lot of players don't need to build. There, there's no reason to build. There's no, no really game-changing effect, I, I guess would be the good way to put it, that we've seen out of some of the heroes. I think Granite's going to be a solid choice. We're, we're going to um, we're gonna have to see exactly how, how well he does. Um, I want to thank all the whales for testing this stuff out, and thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Levi. Yeah, like I said, it you really have to wait to see exactly what the heroes are going to look like. Th that's really the big thing. Um, like I said, with heroes like Granite, you have to really check to see what he's going to do or how well he's going to work. Now, this one, no hero dying, which usually means Taylin, um and Rowan. That that's a usually always a very solid formation and then we have the guards up here this is usually a pretty good formation to not letting heroes die multiple forms of healing multiple forms of crowd control and a lot of damage and of course with zorath you have to do it more than once so kind of crazy um is there any tier list with new heroes yep i'll cover it later md i believe there is a tier list right now up on reddit um, I haven't had a chance to look at it. Just really getting back into AFK Arena right now. Um, I want to see. I, I want to see exactly where some of the newer heroes fall. I'll, I'll come out. I'll put a video out for the tier list that is up and kind of give you my thoughts on it. Um, to to see. Uh, will Granite mainly be used just to instantly die and do the petrification procs? So maybe yes. So Lone Wolf. A lot of players have said that. Um. Granite with that plus 30 signature item, even if you're just taking Granite to Mythic to get that plus 30 signature item, um, throwing him in a team comp possibly with like a Lucretia where she's going to benefit from his death. Yeah, you, you can get the petrification procs. It seems like it's going to be pretty broke, which is good. I, I 
like to see heroes that are at least utilized um, versus Lilith just putting out a bunch of heroes that absolutely no one is using, which unfortunately is the case with a lot of them lately. Um, so should I stay level 299 and try to beat it? Um, you can, Leo. If it's really hard, it, it it's, doesn't scale that fast. If you're level 299, Leo, and you go to level 300, um, it's not going to make a game-changing difference. So e even if you go... Um, even if you go further, it's not going to make a big difference. Defeat at least four enemies in the same formation or with the same hero. All right, so we'll go for crowd control. We'll go for some survivability. And we'll go with Ainz because he is usually just the hero that controls and kills everybody. Maybe. I don't think he got the kill there. But we'll give it a try. Um, it's always awesome seeing my account. Oh, oh, you're formatic. Yes, I use a lot of your combinations. So uh, formatic, big shout out. Um, a lot of your combinations, and I use a lot of Doc's combinations. I, I don't think if I don't know if Doc's in the live streams, um, but I do use a lot of both of your formations within a lot of places in the Misty Valley. A lot of different places. Um, so again, big shout out to Formatic um, and to Doc. Doc's another one that I've, I've used a lot of his formations. All right, so this one, again, I just go with really the crowd control formation. Let me go with double tank, which is easy up front. Do you think Damon could be a cheap fit for Greyboard? Yeah, Damon does very well, Pierre. If you haven't built Damon, guys, he's used in a lot of stages. You can use him... Um, in, a, in a lot of different formations. You can use him in a lot of the Misty Valley. I've seen a lot of play with him in the Trials of God. Um, a very, a, a, a hero you can use in a lot of different places, honestly. Chief victory without any warrior or ranger. So no warriors, no rangers. So that means we can have support and we can have mages and we can have tanks. But no warriors, no rangers. So let's go ahead and we'll drop another mage in here. So mage, mage, support, tank, tank. So we should be good with this one. And why not use Sophia and just make Ein stronger? So it'll be very cool. Um, I was using it wrong then. I thought the barricade would work. It was equipped. No, so that it like I was saying, um, Wantelo, it, it will trigger the cooldown. Even if you had all five heroes with the tank um, or with the barricade, it will trigger the cooldown. It can't overlap. It won't overlap. Oh, yeah, definitely, Betsy. It's good to talk to you guys. I, I haven't really, again, haven't done anything with YouTube. I haven't even put up any videos in, I believe, two days. Um, haven't done anything with AFK Arena. It was a very good break um, to go out with the family, go out on the boat. We had a lot of fun. The kids... Love a boat. Now we're going to buy a boat probably eventually. Um, but again, it was very cool to, to go out and spend some time. Spend some time with family. What's going on, Lazarus? We're just finishing up the Misty Valley here. Any tier? Yeah, we'll, we'll do the tier list. Um, I built Gorbo recently. And I'm shocked that he's super good. Yeah, he is. Um, Ahmed, and the, the more you build him, the stronger he gets. So him being built off with the shields... Um, the, the stronger he will actually get, the, the more you build him. The more you build him with furniture and everything else, he will just continue to get stronger and stronger. Gor Gorvo will be. Gorvo does very well. So there I think we had to turn off some alts. There we go. So now we're going to have a lot of poke coins in here. I know we built out a couple of heroes last time. So we are going to be pretty close to building these out. And I think that is all, guys. I think that is Misty Valley. Let's run through here, do our complete check. It is clear. Now we can go pick up all of our loot. Um, how do we beat the backline enemies? Um, anyone who's going to go backline web, um, so Eron to pull them in. If you're looking at Gwen, um, Cecilia, we have Athelia. A lot of the heroes will go straight backline to kill the backline enemies first. Um, while keeping the front line alive. 
Some players have went with the five pull. Some have went with Eins and made it work just through the cheese. There we go, guys. And I believe this is our unlock for Maro. I, I think it is the unlock. I, I don't think we have any copies of him at this point. But we want to build him. We want to get up the frame. And we know he does well. We know he is a hero that does exceptionally well. He's been tested now for a significant amount of time. Um, so we can start building him out. And we already got our Lucretia up to one star. So we can continue with our engraving in here, which is awesome. So definitely continuing the engraving within here. But the mats are far few in between. Um, it, it takes a long, to get them, a long time to get them built, but they're getting there. Um, in my level deficiency, I use five teams, Grez Alna, Thorin Cheese, Five Pole Lucretia, Charmanizer, Ein's team. Yeah, honestly, Sheen Evil, if it's working with those five teams, um, I know in the team comps themselves, guys, when you start getting late endgame, like what Sheen Evil was saying, um, there's about seven different teams you can run. Like even within my teams themselves, I don't run the portal party. Um, a lot of players do run the portal party. I don't. Um, just because th there's a lot of formations. There's a lot of different formations that you can win. Um, how do you get the win under 10 seconds? I did the five pole. So to get the win under 10 seconds, we actually did this team right here, um, which was the, the Iran Skarath with um, Lucretia. So this was the Lucretia five-man pole. Um, got the win in about eight seconds with this combination. Very strong combination. I did an artifact guide a while back, and then there was only one set of specific artifacts. Um, yeah, once they come out, Kai, I will do another artifact guide. Um, we Here we finally got all of our artifacts. All of Dura's artifacts are now five stars, which is awesome. Um, I have two of the faction-specific artifacts or the class-specific artifacts to five stars, which I would definitely max out first. Then we just got to build the rest of them. This is probably going to be my next one. Um, a lot of mages, especially when it comes to stronger mages, have been utilizing this one because of the haste that it brings. I've seen it a couple places. Um, I've seen Seraphic Tide in a couple different places. But a lot of these class specifics are not used. I, I haven't seen them used very many places. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Is Granite a good hero, Quan? Um, As of right now, yes. So a lot of players have said yes that he is a very good hero. I have yet to build him. We're gonna have to spend a little bit of time testing him out on the test server tonight, um, but I will definitely build him out and see exactly how well he is working. Yeah, Granite SI30 is very good for early crowd control, like what Javid just said. Um, what do you and casuals think of the AE changes? Um, Lazarus, honestly, the, the AE, the Abyssal Expedition, um, I, I love the changes. I love how they changed some of the pathing. That was absolutely spot on um, what they needed to do. I like a, a lot of the changes that they've done. So 50 more chests out of there. That's the Abyssal Expedition chest. And then we also do have quite a few stones here. So we'll pop these open. Hopefully we can get some copies of Morrow. <sighs> Seven elite hero stones. Hopefully it's going to be Morrow, which we got Theowin, so not too bad. We got a copy of Peggy there, got some more food, and then Cecilian Falks, which I believe they're already maxed out at five stars, but that's okay. Yeah, so far, Levi, out of all of my summons, um, I, I haven't seen or haven't gotten any copies of Morrow. So I've been really just missing out on, on the copies of Morrow. I haven't seen any of them. I even stopped building Walker. Um, once Morrow was introduced, we have him right there because I think we have food down here just waiting. So we'll knock out a couple summons here, guys. Hopefully pull a couple copies of Morrow. Look at that. Floor number 925. That is insanity. We're at 630. We just need levels. We need to add a ton of crystal levels, levels in here. Um, yeah, Webb, we just won that 10 second battle. Despite uh, Mars design being mocked. Yeah, absolutely, Pico. I, I agree with you completely. Um, Morrow has been probably one of the best light bearers we've seen in a considerable amount of time. Ullard does pretty well, but a lot of players do not use him. 
A lot of players, again, I haven't built tier three stars. I've never used him. Um, I, I've seen him on some cheese teams with his with his shield, but we have a lot of other heroes that are kind of higher on the the priority list, I guess, to um to go ahead and build him. Is Taylee worth building to plus 30? She's another hero that we really have to build up a little bit more. She's close, which we could actually build her out. There, she's at plus 30. I'm going to have to test her out as well. Um, we got her three furniture, I believe, last time we did the summons. So attack rating increased by 20% and haste increased by 20 points for seven seconds. This seems pretty good too because this is going to give her an immunity. Um, again, I'm going to have to wait to see and test her out. We, we have a lot of we have a lot of heroes to, to try out. Chopping in to say, hi, what's going on, Cassidy? The guides always use but no guides, but on the alt. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I love doing the guides. If mo I mean, a lot of you know me. I, I love doing the guides. It's very cool. What do you think about the latest support artifact on the twins? Um, I've used it a couple times. So the twins, I do usually keep the call on. Um, right now I have the tide on. We've kind of went back and forth depending on the Twisted Realm boss. Um, the twins are used for pretty much everything when it comes to the Twisted Realm because of their hope ability, so this ability to actually link, um, or the ultimate ability, and then the linking that they have it is very powerful with the unity. Um, that That's a reason even on a couple of the battles where they don't ult, most of the players will still use them. They, they, they'll still work very well. I got unlucky. Oh, you unlocked Walker with the stones? Yeah. All right, so we got a couple scrolls here. Which again, we're going for light bearers. So let's see. We're looking for Morrow. It is Morrow, and specifically is the one that we are looking for. So I'm hoping there he is, guys. We're gonna burn our diamonds on there as well. We want to build him before he's gone. That that is really the big thing. And there's an elite, guys, which is a copy of Respin. So not too bad. I think I might have him pretty close to max out as well. We're running out of heroes. I believe the Wilders. We don't have any more heroes. Um, and then the Graveborn, I don't think we have any more heroes either um, to go ahead and build. I, I think we're pretty well built there with the heroes. So it is definitely getting um, getting pretty close, getting pretty close to having all of these heroes short of the Celestials and the Hypogens unlocked, which there's a light bearer, guys. Hopefully it's Morrow. It is another copy of Peggy. Our final summon here, just some more rare cards. All right, so we got a couple here. Hoping we can pull at least two or three would be awesome to see. I know that might be asking a lot, but so it's gonna make us use all three of them. I'd love to see a double here, just another single, but that'll take him to Elite Plus. We still got two more pulls. Another one back to back. So if we can pull one more, we can actually build them up a little bit. Hoping this is going to be the pull for one more. Oh, just some rare cards. That's okay, though, because we got one up here as well. Maybe it'll be Mauro. It is Oscar. We don't want no copies of Oscar. Still not too impressed, even with the uh, Oscar's abilities or Oscar's engraving. Um, not too impressed overall. So we can actually use a little bit of food, which I believe we have Cecilia maxed out we have yep we have cecilia maxed out we have lucius maxed out so we'll go ahead and drop these in there now we just need boom legendary we need what one more copy one more copy of morrow and he will be good what's going on kai um how do you get the star or heart under your face cam oh the the star or the heart so one is the subscribers and one is the membership um, I believe, Kai, thank you very much for the donation. Um, if you're a new subscriber for the channel where it says Far Beyond, that was the last subscriber. Um, and the star is if you're a membership, that was the last member to the channel. Um, so um, it will only pick it up when it's open. So it will only pick up um, when I have Streamlabs open. That, that's why you can't get the star or the heart. If you look at the very top of granite, it does say cow, which I think is right up. If 
you guys can see right up here, um, it does say Cal right there. That is, it, it's a running tally if it is Super Chats, anything of that, that notion. Um, but specifically the subscribers. So if you sub to the channel, it'll pop your name in there until someone else does. Um, the star is the last one who joined membership. And it was membership when I had Streamlabs open. That's the only way that you can get that, unfortunately. And I noticed Streamlabs takes a while to catch up. It seems like it does take a couple days to catch up um, for Streamlabs in general, which here, I know we have Granite coming out, so we're not building anything in here because Granite will be here on Tuesday. So we are just going to sit with food and we're not building anyone. But look, one more star, one more star, one more star. We are almost completely maxed out here. And then Wilder's the same, just needs stars. And then Graveborn, same here. We have two heroes we need stars on. Everything else, we're just waiting for heroes, guys. Look at the Graveborns. Absolutely crazy. We already have double food here as well. Then here, we're starting to max out a couple more of these heroes. We're going to work on, we're working on Zolrath right now. Um, we're also working on Athalia. We've pulled a couple copies of her, almost have her at Mythic. And then, of course, the Dimensionals are done as well. What is more important on Damon, his furniture or his signature item? Yeah, signature item to a plus 20 with Damon as soon as you can. Um, he is right here, the plus 20 signature item. This makes a massive difference, guys. If you're only taking him to the plus 20, plus 20 is a priority. Plus 30 does help and is super nice to have, not only the stats that you get, but having the two second duration to the blood shield does make a difference. But the plus 20 is what you want Damon to have. That, that is really what you want. Yep, there you go. So signature item plus 20, next three of nine, then plus 30. Uh, signature item. How long has it been going? So a cool thing that someone showed me, I believe last live stream, is the achievements. I believe it has a, right there, 488 days, guys. So 365 in a year. So a year and probably going on a little less than a half. Um, so logging into the game, yep, 488 days. So the game, it's been out for a while, Levi. So it, it's been quite a bit. And again, we're starting to have a lot of the factions maxed out. Which is, which is awesome to see. I'm love loving seeing a lot of the factions. Same with our wish list, guys. A lot of the heroes in here are starting to get maxed out. We have a ton of heroes with nine of nine furniture. Um, I'm not going to take them past that to get duplicate furniture, but we're starting to see a lot more of the heroes get knocked out of here. Um, Hodgkins, we want to build, of course. Desiro, we want to build. Namora, um, Merlin, we want to build. Very good set wish list. And Sheen Evil let me know last time that I didn't have Nomura in there. Um, so we're definitely building out Nomura with the 9 of 9 furniture. I'm hoping we can pull one Eden here for Antandra. That way we can build her out, which there's another piece for Ezio. Ezio is another hero, guys. If you're not using Ezio within the Abyssal Expedition, he is a game changer when it's trying to take towns. Um, super easy. Super easy with Ezio um, to take towns, especially if you have him built. Which there's another piece for Kren. So we got two cards on the table. We can max out another hero, which is gonna be good. And that's two more, two more pieces of furniture there. So we'll go ahead and we'll sell these back like we always do. Quite a few, maybe enough for another summon. Nope, a little bit shy. Looking here, guys, we have Entendre, which I'm going to go ahead and finish out Entendre. So we're going to finish her out, which, yeah, I'm going to, well, I'm thinking, you know what, let's go ahead and save that. She, I want to do Kren. Um, I definitely want to finish out Kren. And there's a, there's a couple other heroes. I'm going to save these. Just because looking here, I, I know there's a couple. Ezio, I, I use a lot. Um, Nomura will get soon. I know Merlin, I would love to have the nine of nine. Same with Zolrath and Athalia, getting some more furniture for them. So we're just gonna save the cards right now. That way, if we can get one more and max out one of these heroes, I'm gonna utilize a lot faster. And I think Kren is almost maxed out as well for that plus 30 signature item. So we just need a couple more red chests in here and he'll be maxed out as well. Very nice. So we are getting really close, guys, which is awesome. Um, Morrow just need a couple more copies. 
So we need what, two, we need four for Ascended, five to get him, so five more copies of him and he will be done and we have five there. So we just need diamonds. That's really all we need. Um, if we can get some more diamonds, we still have 24 days on the reset, which we have Granite coming out Tuesday. But if we can do some summons, pull Granite, pull Morrow, um, we can finish him out because I believe within the ship, we still do have a little bit of time left on some of these heroes. So even here we have our dailies, we have our weeklies. So there is Morrow, guys. We got some free cards out of there, very nice. Got some Twisted Essence. Um, Hodgkin we already have built, which is good. We even added a star to him. And then Titus I have not found. Zekas I have not found either. And then of course we're going to be adding our next hero in there as well. And all of these, go ahead and collect up some of those. And we are set. Good to be back. Good to uh, see the progression. We're going to have to have to get on the on the abyssal expedition. We we have a lot of a lot of stuff going a lot of stuff going on in the abyssal expedition. Yeah, guys, we started this. So looking at my season frame for the abyssal expedition, um, a lot of players ask about the frame. Um, I have season two, season three, season four, and we'll pick up season five. Um, this this account was not created when season one came out. Um, so season one I have on the FHG account for Hippo Gaming. Um, we do not have the season one here because this account wasn't created when season one was out. That, that's the reason we don't have that very first frame. Um, it's actually on my other account. So unfortunately, we can't go back and get it, but um, we would have to see. And if Flora is in the back, Tassie Zora, three star, she'll get banished. Oh, yeah, Flora, Flora, Tassie, Zorath, I still have to build. Guys, Zorath is another hero. Um, I'm waiting to build. His three of nine furniture is absolutely crazy. Um, the, the postponement, I, I want to build out his furniture. He's in the wish list. We're just waiting to get more copies. Same as Athelia. I believe in here we can even buy these out. And again, I haven't logged into this account. It's been a couple days, guys. It does kind of set you back a little bit, but Labyrinth Store, we can buy pretty much a lot of this out which is good. And then the Challenger store, we have 100,000 to continue building Zorath. I want to finish out Zorath. We already have a Mythic. We already have a signature item. Um, max out at a plus 30. Just a couple more copies and he will be good. When will I unlock the select summons? Um, when I believe you unlock a Ascended Hero. So it actually comes from the big torch um, right here. Additional Hero Choice Monthly Draws. This is where you get all of the stars that unlock the Desired Hero Summons. It's right there, Unlock Hero Growth Bundle. That's the other part of it where you get to use them here, the Heroic Ship. This is from, I believe, 10 Ascended Heroes. You get that that built out as well. Yeah, any Flora combos on um, Yukio? Yep, and it makes a difference, Reem, if they're in the front row or the back row because um, Yukio can, can do it. Um, we also seen Zorath can do it. Um, also, Estrilda. Estrilda can do that little knockback, um, wh which is pretty cool. What's going on, Ice? And Richie is here as well. Can we have a series where you get on our accounts and push for us? Oh, Kai, as much as I would like to, um, not super not super impressed with the campaign. The, many of you know, I mean, if you guys have watched my live streams um, for any considerable amount of time, I'm not too huge on the campaign. I, I'm not a big fan. I find the campaign sometimes just a little bit boring, um, which, which there we go. So Prince and Ainz gets this one done. To begin a battle, we knew we had to start one. I, I do find it kind of boring to, to run through here, just kind of time and time again, um, especially because a lot of it is RNG. Either one, you're overleveled where it's gonna work to your advantage very well, um, or two, it's just a lot of RNG to get through here. I could run the same one, you know, 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 50 times and get it to work. It, it again, just takes a lot of RNG. Um, at least you got two. Yeah, we, we have the fodder ready for Morrow and Reem finished Morrow today. Very nice. 
Is Hodgkin good for AE for the final boss? Um, JG, he will work depending again on the heroes you have. Um, the big thing with Hodgkin is he has the boat. I believe it's the, the black sails or something of that nature. He has an ability that'll buff your heroes, um, which can work well. It, it honestly can work very well in your favor um, with the buffs that he can provide. And again here, um, just working this till it works. That's the big thing of the Abyssal Expedition, especially the RNG with Mahira's Charm. Um, I think, feel like if I, if I had Kren a little bit stronger, we could probably make this work a little easier, but one more copy of Morrow and Hodgkin to get extended. Very nice. That is good, Kai, Kel, um, because you'll actually get both of the frames. Yeah, T Tassie one-shots, guys. Look at that. Isabella doing a lot. But look at Tassie. 41 million damage there. Tassie fighting in the campaign is crazy. It Honestly, it's just crazy with how strong, um, how strong campaign Tassie is. There we go. Tassie just teleports and Odin is dead. Kren, again, he's another one that I feel I have to... Have to level up a little bit. Needs a little bit more furniture um, to add a lot to the viability. Plus 30 signature item for the crowd control aspect that he brings. Um, again, a, a couple heroes that I feel I could definitely use just building more. Building some of the heroes further. This formation, again, dealing with Pippa. I love Pippa. Again, I think she's a hero that a lot of players just kind of underrate. This one we're going with the all Negrez combination. And again, these can work. It just does take some time. Time to get these formations to work. And I love using Grez, guys. If you haven't built out Grez, he is just a monster. If you can get him to scale, if you can get his minions up, um, he's very hard to kill. He is honestly very, very hard to kill. In formations. Izold is very good with furniture against the AE boss. He lives through the entire part. Yeah, if you can scale Izold, especially if you can get him. The the big thing with Izold in there, um, bulletproof, is when when you get to the point. So if you're building the warrior tree with Izold, um, Izold will mitigate so much damage with you, you have to be very specific with how you're building out the tree. If you're going to use Izold when it comes to the relics you're choosing within the, the warrior. Because Izold, remember, as he takes damage, he does more damage. That's really the, the big thing to remember is if Izold is not taking enough damage, similar to the level deficiencies in here with Thorin. Um, if Thorin's not taking enough damage, he is not, his retaliation ability is not going to be strong enough um, to effectively work. That's the problem that a lot of players see why the Thorn Cheese doesn't work. Your level deficiency is not high enough. That's kind of the problem. So even here, I mean, we only had Skarath left. We could probably make this one work, which would be cool. I'm jealous of campaign anything. Even the common heroes wreck me. Yeah, and that's it, Levi. When you get to the level deficiencies, um, that's the big thing. So a lot of players are running way higher than I am. I'm talking level 200 plus deficiencies um, and it's working flawlessly. And it, it is working very, very well. Um, I, I don't like pushing the campaign that much. There, there's so much more stuff to do in the, the game right now that this really isn't a huge priority. Which I feel like I need Kalthar to be a little bit stronger. I started leveling his signature item. Um, same with Pippa and same with pretty much everyone in a lot of these formations. Um, just getting them a little bit stronger. Which there I think we got pulled into the five pole. There's Queen. I've started using Queen too. Uh, 454, Queen 43 million. And again, these last two stages um, just might take a little bit of time. But I feel like with these comps, we could definitely get this down. But fighting with Isabella is always tough. 
Hodgkin is used on Lucius Grez, deals 3 billion damage. Yeah, there you go. So Hodgkin with Lu Lucius and Grez, or um, Lucretia and Grez. Yep. So depending on the spec you went, because if you went with the Warriors, um, of course you're going to have heroes like Saurus that are just going to absolutely destroy damage on the boss. Um, if you went with the Celerity comp, which most players did because of Lucretia, you can do super well with that formation as well because of the damage Lucretia puts up. You stack relics behind her, it's broken with the amount of damage that Lucretia puts up. And the speed that Lucretia um, puts up the damage is absolutely crazy. There's this one again, I, it's just the RNG factor to, to get this done. Oden is getting banished. Boom, got the teleport Tassie. Killing everyone out here. And then, of course, the Thorn Cheese. I've started to hit the progression wall. And Pico, that's a lot of times, that's exactly what it's going to be. It is going to be the progression wall. And most of it has to do with either one of two things. Either one, it's going to be the hero EXP that you're stuck behind. Um, or it's going to be the essence wall. Th those are the two things that players are stuck on all day long. Um, one of those two are going to be where, where you're stuck. See you later, Lazarus. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Lucy and Raku. Yeah, Lucy and Raku in there. Raku can do just monster damage as well, guys. They're both very strong heroes. Um, I have not been getting doubles in the Oaken Inn. Um, last time, Mr. Boy Scout, I think we got two. I, I, think, um, I think we got two doubles I haven't seen it very frequently, but I believe we did get a couple last time. If I remember correctly, I'd have to look at the live stream, but I thought we did get, I thought we did get a couple. What's going on, Christopher? Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, chapter 30, time to get $40 for 45. Oh, yeah, if you're, if you're at the point, um, where you're getting the advancement rewards, guys, still the, the absolute, best, best purchase in the game is those advancement rewards. A lot of players still ask. Um, the advancement rewards are the best purchase, hands down, um, for the value for, I believe, 20 bucks, you get 45,000 diamonds. If you're looking to put anything in the game, it is still the best purchase. And now they have them, I believe, all the way through chapter 40. I, I think now the advancement rewards do go all the way through um, chapter 40. Is the pity system confirmed for stargazer pulls? Does it make a difference to pull solos instead of multiples? So random spawn, um, Lilith has said no, that there is no pity system. Th that's coming from Belinda over on, if you guys don't know, there's actually a, um, a chat within Facebook. They have said there is no pity system for the stargazer pulls. Um, single pulls and multiple pulls are the exact same. They have the same 2% chance for both of them, um, which is exactly what we've always thought, um, that the Stargazer pulls did not make a difference. Th there is no pity timer. Per Lilith, I, a lot of people have done a lot of pulls, verified it or not, but that is what they have specifically said. That one, he was down to literally a fraction of health on that one. So, no, they have said that the um, Stargazer pulls again, that there is no, no pity timer for it. Is Oden good? Yes, Oden is an absolute beast. Um, I would absolutely max him out. In the Graveworn Tower, he is awesome. Um, in the campaign, he is awesome. PvP, he does well. He, he's very good. He is definitely one of the first Graveworns to build because of his abilities. Guys, especially since he got the rework, since they reworked him originally, um, he's super strong. If you can get him to scale, he does more and more damage, so he actually just gets stronger and stronger, which works very well with the aspects of AFK Arena. Um, definitely, I would build him. Some some of the primary when it comes to um, it is it's all in five, six, seven poles. And that's where the math comes in, Javid, is when they go 
when they go into the actual like calculations of it, which I think maybe it's down here, the probability, um, 2%, that's what Lilith has stuck to, it is the 2% pull. So if you pull essentially 100 pulls, you should technically get mathematically, um, you know, 2% 2, 2 of your 100. So you should get two heroes out of 10 pulls. Now, again, mathematically, when you get, like Javid said, five, six, seven pulls, um, the, the probabilities start getting slimmer and slimmer. Um, but Lilith has said there is no guarantee, um, which saying, okay, you pull every, you know, six pulls, you're going to pull the hero you're looking for, but the probabilities start getting, start getting slimmer and slimmer as you do more progression, as you progress further or do more pulls um, within the Stargazer. The probabilities just get lower and lower to the point of pulling the hero that you're looking for. Even single pulls, double pulls, whatever it may be, they've said the probability remains the same, remains consistent um, with the summons. So there is no change. And again, that's per Lilith what they have told us, that there is no change within the probabilities. Yep, yeah, and, and that's what, yep, so it, it comes down to math. So you could do a single 10 pull for your very first one and boom, you could get three heroes. Again, it's the same 2% probability. It is what Lilith has um, has stressed. What's going on, Hyatt? Um, so yeah, the, the, the probability like they were saying um, remains the same. I think I have to spend some diamonds in here. Do we have enough diamonds? We do, there we go. Um, I Again, being out of town, we, we didn't get to do anything on here. Um, so we got that. Labyrinth, we're going to have to run through pretty shortly. Um, got the Bountiful Trials already done. Misty Valley is done, which is awesome. Got some copies of Morrow. So I still have a day here, which is good. We're getting our bonuses out of there. So very nice as well. Then I believe out of the Merchants. Got a couple more resources. Maybe enough for one more summon. Nope, we are short. We got some more Elites though, which is good. And we'll just continue, guys, collecting of our loot every single day for almost a year and a half. We've been doing awesome in here. Got some more cards, which were from Morrow. That's it. We got more food. More food. Just need copies of Morrow. We'll be all set. And then we're waiting on granite. So out of so here we have Walker to build. We have Morrow to build. Everybody else is done, which is awesome. More copies of Morrow. And here we have granite to build, which is coming soon. We have Kasos to build, and that's it. Um, just add some more stars. This, we just have stars. Um, here, we just have stars. And that's it, guys. We will be completely done with all the heroes short of the Celestials and Hypogens, which once we max out the rest of the four factions, these will be a lot easier because we won't be doing all the desired hero summons. But with the amount of heroes that Lilith is coming out with, um, we'll probably still have to do some. So, very cool. When it says participate in the extermination, do you have to kill it? Yes, Isaac, um, you do have to kill it. Um, you only have to do one attack before the boss dies. So literally, if you do one single attack and then the boss dies, everybody else, your other you know, 69 people in the guild, um, kill the boss, you will still get credit. You need one single attack within the time of the boss to die which is where I am stuck right now. When I got to the boss the first time, the boss was already dead. Um, this one, I just need a little more of my core relics and then I need to kill the boss. And then I need the tier eight and that's it. We will be done all the way through Prince, which would be nice. I have all of my cities and towns here, tier five plus. So we're doing pretty well. We're literally just waiting to kill out the boss. That, that's really the big thing when the boss dies. Um, I can take a tier eight and we will be done. So it'll be very cool to see. All right, guys, so that will do it for our Sunday stream. Again, sorry for the very late notification on the stream. Didn't know if I was even going to make it today, depending on the traffic coming home from up north. Went on vacation again. Um, that is the last one for the entire year. So we'll be joining um, Sunday streams like we usually do. But again, guys, big shout out to Sheen Evil and Javid for definitely um, helping with all the questions. What's going on, AirTap? Thank you for joining us as well. We're going to conclude. I'm going to go empty out my car, um, get everything cleaned up, get the kids ready. It is back to school or already back to school. 
um, tomorrow for the kids. So it is going to be very cool to see listening with my wireless headphones. Oh, you're welcome, Levi. How do I get into the frozen arena in the vault of time? Um, the frozen area is through one of the gate bosses. Um, that top. So if you look, the gate bosses are these little ones right here. So there's three gate bosses. We went through actually a single gate boss. I believe this might have been, I think it might have been Arden. I, I think this one we killed out Arden. Um, but you have one of three gate bosses. You only need to kill one of the gate bosses. Um, you don't have to kill all of them because now with the linking system, if you kill one, they all die. So it was, it was very cool. Um, yep, if you do have any detailed information, definitely hit us up on Discord. Um, always a lot of players there to answer questions. If you're getting into specific team comps, if you're looking for detailed information, um, just drop some messages in the AFK lobby or under the questions tab. There Again, there's a lot of players in there. I think we're up to like 700 plus players in there um, that can go ahead and answer your questions that you have about AFK Arena, especially when it comes to more detailed information. So again, guys, thank you guys for joining me for the stream tonight. Have a great Sunday. I'm going to cover a couple. I have a lot of topics lined up for this week. I'm waiting for Granite to come out on Tuesday. It's going to be very cool to see. So as always, guys, thank you guys for joining me for all the 